if did you guys see this movie or even know that it was coming out i kind of did and i have it right here with me i watched it and i don't think it's all that bad to be honest because like uh, the reviews for this film were kind of strange from what i've seen but i watched it firsthand and i don't think it's that bad so uh, the premise of this film is pretty simple, but I actually kind of like it. Basically, there's these imaginary friends called Ifs, and they haven't seen, like, people that they've been connected to for, like, such a long time, believing that, oh, we, we're not needed by them anymore. And so uh, the girl character that's called Elizabeth, somehow she's the only character that I can remember name-wise, uh, surprisingly, uh, stumbles upon these with stumbles upon them due to ryan reynolds guy I, I don't even know his name or if he even has one i'm just gonna call him ryan reynolds guy because ryan reynolds is in this movie well he mainly came up with this idea it seems and it's nice that he finally was able to make this idea that it seems like he had for a while but yeah it, premise is simple gotta get the ifs connected back to their people it, really simple but kind of like the premise of this movie so uh, the ifs have some pretty, like, good designs, actually. I like how some of them look, like, pretty cartoonish. Not all of them, but I think they kind of clash well together with the human characters. You got, like, Bubbles. You got a cat that we get to see briefly. Superhero dog. Uh, a ton more, but yeah, I actually like some of the designs of the ifs. They look nice. And there's also, like, the set designs. So the ifs originate... Well, don't originate. Well, what they do... They originate in the theme park place, and I genuinely like the whole set design. Actually, it's probably a real place, but inside of it, I genuinely like how the place looks. And there's like a scene where we get to see it morph into like something else. It's pretty cool, actually. And I don't think the CGI work is too bad in this movie. Like, it's not terrible. So, I think that's kind of it. Well, there is like the score of the movie, like the music. It's not like amazing, but it fits. You know, it clashes well with, like, the filmtography of this movie. Like, it's actually not filmed badly. I'll give it that. But, uh, yeah, the plot's really, really simple. Uh, the main character, we do get to see a little bit of their past, sorta, with, like, their mom. And it seems like their dad is, like, struggling with something. Which, those scenes are actually, like, really wholesome. I like them. And all. But, yeah, it's kinda it. But, uh, yeah, so... There's, like... She has, like, a grandma. We don't get to see her too much, but... Yeah. But, okay, Ryan Reynolds guy. Uh, he, he, he's fine. He just seems kind of mad half of the time, and I wouldn't blame him too much because he has to deal with all the ifs. I don't know, I don't feel like he had too much of a connection with the main character we're following. Like, there's a scene that I like at the end. It, may, it almost actually made me cry. Yes, I'm admitting this. Me, I had to be honest. This movie almost made me feel something. But yeah, there's a scene where, like, the girl just can't accept that her dad might die. So, it's it's a nice scene, but I don't know. I feel like they should have had more conversations together. Heck, I feel like she has more of a connection with the CGI bear character. The old man bear. I, I don't know. I just feel like there could have been far more put into it. But, I don't know. They play fine off of each other. Uh, the movie's kind of funny. I I haven't watched like everything under the boat with Ryan Reynolds, but this movie is kind of funny. I'll say that like right now, it kind of got a laugh out of me, actually. Not like the most hilarious movie ever, but you know, there's some funny moments in there that I, you know, was able to laugh at. Uh, I can't really name any. Uh, the guy like Blue, there's some funny moments with Blue, I guess. The Ryan Reynolds tripping over an invisible if is sort of funny, but they kind of run that joke into the ground a little bit. It's it's still, like, somewhat funny. I could kind of laugh at it. And, um... It's, I think that might be it. I don't know. Like, there's not, like, a huge amount of jokes I can name off of. But, yeah, I already kind of went into the plot, but it, it could have done a little more with the story, probably. Like, they're, like, they're trying to, like, reconnect the ifs with people that they used to know. But it's just, I don't know. They could have done a little more with it. Where, like, it, we get, like, at the very end, like, end credits, we get to see this. But, like, they could have done a little more with it. Where there's, like, I, I like, there's, like, this interview scene that I like. 
where like you know Ryan Reynolds and Elizabeth girl are like talking to the ifs and there's like this kid in the hospital and at, where like Elizabeth the main character has a slight connection with them those scenes are wholesome I like them but uh he doesn't see them and then we have uh I don't know her name. I really don't. But, uh... But I kind of do, but... I mean, we get to see this scene where her grandma, like... Used to, like... She's, like, dancing to some music. So, I guess they sort of, like, reconnected the ifs with them. I don't know, man. They could have done far more with that. Like, why not... Like, they say, they say something about, like... The, uh, them being forgotten. But maybe they could have done something with them being connected with newer people well there sort of is something it's i don't know it's a, it's a little strange to me i the movie does give some like ground rules to the ifs where like uh it's pretty simple just they can't be seen that's really it just simple ground rules that ifs are unable to be seen like only by like a specific it's kind of weird how they introduce this i'm not gonna lie where like the main girl could see them but not other people. Like, I don't know. They could have explained that better. It's so strange to me how it goes. But, yeah, I think that might be it. Kind of wish I had more to say about this film. There's just, I don't know, not too much to it, honestly. But it's not a bad film. I would actually kind of recommend this to somebody. Or, like, anybody. You know, I like the designs of the ifs. The concept for how simple it is is not bad. Heck, even the message of the film isn't too bad. I guess, hey, at the end of the day, you're going to kind of need somebody or you always have that person for you being the ifs, I guess. But it, it's it's not like a, a bad film. I kind of feel sad that this went under the bus as a movie because it's not like terrible. I think I could see some people out there actually enjoying this for like it doesn't even have to be the plot. Like It could be the ifs or the music or like how it's filmed. I feel like there are things to appreciate with this film and I'm glad that Ryan Reynolds was finally able to make this idea that he had for a movie. So, um, yeah. I don't have much else to say about it. I like the ifs. Music's pretty good. It's not filmed bad. The scenes with the girl's dad are pretty wholesome. Uh, maybe they could have, like, done more of the grandma character. Ryan Reynolds is, like, fine. He's kind of funny, I guess. But he just seems sort of just mad half of the time. But I wouldn't blame him because... He has to deal with the ifs. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. So I'll see you guys next time and bye.